welcome to another video here on my channel for those of you who are new i am trika of trika plans also the owner of the cuteness boutique on etsy all of my links are listed in the description bar below make sure you check out my youtube banner so that you can follow me on all of my social media handles and also you can click the etsy link and it will lead you directly to my shop so this is where the planning and the cuteness collided on my channel we will plan this thing called life one day at a time we will be planning organizing chit chatting just taking everything one day at a time also just giving you encouragement to keep on pushing pray until something happens and of course all the cuteness so if you're not already subscribed to the channel make sure you go ahead and hit the red subscribe button also turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i go live or whenever i upload a video give your girl a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below you know i love hearing from you guys so you guys we are here for week four of our soulful sunday and we were we are going to be discussing today stillness and fasting and I might even throw in like a bonus towards the end. I'm going to see. So we are going to do Exodus 14 and 14. And I believe the soul work is Matthew 6 um, verses 16 through 18. So make sure you are following along. All of the stuff is in the description bar for Soulful Sunday. So I have my illustrating Bible here. This came from Day Spring. So you can check that out as well. And also I have here some blush rose cardstock paper i am going to do me a tip in i am going to be tipping in tipping in and then i also have here one of my memory decks cards if i have ch a chance to go ahead and memory deck some things for today of course you know i have my vin von alley stickers these are um from vin von alley and also the link is in my description bar. And if you want some of this cuteness from Ben Von Alley, use code TRIKA20, T-R-I-C-K-A 20. And this is all of the cuteness that I have from Ben Von Alley. And also I have here the floral um, sticker book, which is a part of the hot buy from Recollections. So make sure you check out that because I got this sticker book for like $5 and they had it on sale. So make sure you're checking out the sale and make sure you are using your coupons. We got coins that we need to save. So I'm going to put all of this right here. And I also have here some, what is this, die cut stickers. So I've already, this this is from the Paper Studio. They just were 50% off this week. Um, So next week they, <clears throat> I think it's every other week that this um, Paper Studio is 50% off. And I got a lot of sticker books that I need to show you guys. So I already divided these because um it comes in it's three of each and so you know I had to get my sissy poos I had to give them um, we all got a set each and oh my god I love this so this probably will be um, sprinkled in here somewhere as well so these are the die cuts that come with this pack and it comes in three sets of each so we have this one we love we love because he first loved us and these are um, all of the um faith ones these are the faith ones from out of the pack and these are thick cardstock stickers okay die cuts a friend loves at all times we have the bible we have love is patient love is kind i love this verse because love is patient and love is kind and we have do everything in love first corinthians 16 and 14 and then we have this cross so you probably will see an appearance of this cross in one of my little setups, okay? So perhaps this is the moment for which you have been created. Esther 4 and 14. I love the book of Esther. Greater is he. 1 John 4 and 4. So these are the die cuts that came in the pack. They only had one pack. Normally I'll get two packs and I just uh, um, split it up between my friends and then I'll, I will take a pack for myself. But they only had one pack. And y'all excuse my nails. I was... Ooh, I had a rough day today. But anyway, let's dive into our week for Soulful Sunday today. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, diving in. We are in Exodus 14 and 14. The Lord will fight for you. You only need to be still. Isn't that amazing? God is always telling us to be still. And we, a lot of times, do the opposite. 
but I think it's imperative for us to be still at times. The soul work for this week is also Matthew 6 verses 6 through 18, 16 through 18. And this is the soul work. It's just nourishment for your soul that you can do at home. So make sure you are looking in the description bar so that you can follow along as well. And I am reading from the NIV version of the Bible. And verse 16 is when you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do. For they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that it will not be obvious to others that you are fasting, but only to your father who is unseen and your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you and that is so true because i know when i did my fasting i really didn't want to tell anyone i just really wanted to just dive in i did the esther fast and i'm going to try to do the esther fast at least once a month but it's it's, it's for you it's not for everyone to know that you are fasting and sometimes you might have to tell your friends okay i'm fasting from these hours to these hours so that they can be in the know and so that they can know that you are you know gonna be a little MIA while you are fasting so we have to get into these spiritual habits so this week we are discussing stillness and fasting so imagine that you are standing on a hill by yourself a stream trickles beside you while birds chirp happily above the sun beats down on your face while a gentle breeze blows by everything looks calm and quiet but your mind is racing through a list of tasks you've left undone problems you couldn't solve and brokenness that you could not fix although you're in a tranquil place the sound of your own thoughts and mind is keeping you from enjoying what's happening around you. And that is so true for a lot of us. And let me tell you, that what was happening to me this week. I had so much going on and my thoughts was racing. I could not sit and focus on what was right there in front of me. So through, through stillness, we have to take a moment and what would it take for us to pause and silence the noise and just be still because god always say be still and know that i'm god so what would it take for us to take a moment to pause the silence and be still through stillness we learn to pay attention to what god is doing in us and around us but stillness is both active and passive it involves allowing God to refocus our vision and tune our ears to his voice while we give him the noise inside us. It requires surrendering our worries, surrendering our concerns and problems to God while allowing him to refocus our hearts, our hearts on him. As we practice this spiritual habit and these spiritual habits that I've been giving you all month, we became more equipped to give God glory for his power at work in our lives because we start to notice what God has already been doing in our lives. So take action and take action now. Get away for a few hours in the week coming and practice giving God whatever concerns come to your mind. It's okay if you have to do this repeatedly for a while because sometimes it's it's harder for others to quiet down that mind so it's okay to repeatedly do it for a while give god all your concerns anything that comes to your mind give it to him because he is the one that can answer any prayers questions concerns or anything just use this time to silence the noise inside your mind inside your head and inside of you and get into the habit of making space to hear god's voice amazing right and sometimes we wonder how we can do that 
And another spiritual habit is fasting. We can do, we can quiet the noise by fasting. When, when we think of fasting, you have to think what comes to mind. Maybe you envision people willingly starving themselves because <laughs> that's what, that's how I used to think at first. And I'm not even going to lie. Um, but now that I've grown and I'm learning the word, I'm learning that it is more than that. And maybe you picture um, a monk or someone living off of dry bread. Or maybe you're someone who prefers not to think about fasting ever. That was me at one point, I promise you. But now I'm getting better and I'm learning more. And you have to excuse my neighbor's dogs. They, they just bark every time I'm filming. <laughs> um, but Jesus spent 40 days in the wilderness fasting. And based on his conversations with his disciples, fasting was a practice he assumed they would practice as well but intentionally creating space in our lives to hear God removing the things that give us immediate satisfaction can feel uncomfortable at first especially when our world glorifies pleasure here are some reasons why fasting matters I'm going to just give you a couple, maybe three or two or three. So fasting starves what is stopping us from experience, experiencing God's presence. It focuses us to pay attention to the parts of our lives that we try to drown out through late night binges and social media scrolls. <laughs> oh, I know I'm, I'm, I know I'm hitting a lot of people right now, right? Okay. And in the process, it teaches us to rely on Jesus to meet our needs. Fasting also invites us to give up something we love to make space for something we love even more. You didn't even know that, right? It's okay, because we're going to learn this thing together, okay? Although giving up something you love like food may feel difficult and uncomfortable, it's actually an opportunity to experience great joy because true joy is only found when our strength comes from Jesus. Fasting fasting often comes before breakthrough. So anytime you're fasting and it's be, it, it often comes before a breakthrough. Moses fasted for 40 days while receiving the Ten Commandments. Daniel fasted for three weeks and then received a vision. And Jesus fasted for 40 days and then overcame the devil's temptation. In each of these cases, God provided clarity, strength, and breakthrough on the other side of the faithful sacrifice. So take action. Let's get into action with this. Try completing a 24-hour fast. And if you can't do a 24-hour fast, try doing a couple of hours of a fast. Block out uh, a chunk of time. We have all of these planners. And like me, I do time mapping. And if I'm fasting, I write the chunk of time that I'm going to be fasting. And I write it right in my planner. So if you haven't fasted before or often excuse me keep this exercise very simple the goal here is to finish if you start to feel weary during your fast turn that weariness into an opportunity to talk to God and listen to him once you finish the fast write down anything that stood out to you during this time so that is the art of fasting and that will help you get through and have a breakthrough so those are just some of the spiritual habits that we went over but a word of caution before starting his public ministry Jesus went into the wilderness again for 40 days alone this time prepared him to resist temptations from the devil that the devil would throw at him and step 
into the calling God had for him. Creating healthy spiritual habits can help us do the same. Isn't that amazing? So as we continue to draw near to God, every day that we do this, we're practicing during this time will start to become a natural part of our daily and weekly rhythms. I know there are some people that are doing Lent right now, and this is the 40 days that Jesus was talking about. So as your spiritual habits become a natural rhythm, you will start to find that your life looks different because you practice them. So write it down. Start writing it down and get into the habit of it. And if you do something for what they say, 21 days, it becomes a habit. So keep writing it down for at least 21 days. And here, God states 40 days. <clears throat> Excuse me. So just try to keep on forming a habit. And then it'll become a weekly rhythm. You are creating space for God to transform your heart. So that his glory can be shown through you to a weary world in need of hope and a savior but when you practice these things keep in mind that the spiritual habits themselves are not the end goal the goal is to have a deeper intimacy with god god's word make makes it clear that obedience is better than sacrifice this means that when we're sacrificing anything, it should be from a place of a humble surrender, not a sense of half-hearted obligation. In the same way, spiritual habits add value when they reflect obedience. That is grounded in God's love. So, keep all of that in mind and give God permission to come imperfectly before him because God because it is God's power that made perfect in your weakness so take a moment and don't forget to write down all of the spiritual habits go through the March reading plan these are some good good habits I know in week one we talked about Lent and we talked about prayer Week two, we talked about meditation. Week three, generosity. Week four, stillness and fasting. So I hope you guys have gained some knowledge because this was an amazing month to sit down and reflect on. And we have Easter coming up. We have so much um, going on. And I mean, it is, it's going to be amazing. We have, I know we have Michelle that's doing um, the resurrection of Jesus and we also have Lakeisha that is going to be doing her um her thing so make sure you look at my um sister's channels it is link linked in the description bar and I'm just finishing up everything um I went ahead and decorated the tip in I decorated um my spread inside of my illustrating bible um using the sticker book and using Vinbon Alley um, stickers, remember, Trika 20, T-R-I-C-K-A 20 over at Vinvon Alley. Go ahead over there and get you some of this cuteness so that you can start decorating and just using your faith-based stickers in your Bible, in your journals, on your tip-ins, all of that. And I just use some Simply Gilded Washi and the pens that I'm using today are the Micron PM pens. They are amazing for Bible journaling and a lot of the pens in the Cuteness Boutique also are good for Bible journaling as well. So make sure you are checking out the Cuteness Boutique, Ben Von Alley, and also check out Michelle's channel over at Ben Von Alley and Lakeisha, Lakeisha's channel over at Lakeisha Loves to Plan. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys finish watching this um, rest of the Soulful Sunday. I will be doing it as a premiere so that I can, you know, communicate with you guys because I was supposed to go live, but I had a snafu with the air conditioning, um, <laughs> with the portable air, um, me and my son both had some snafus, so I am exhausted. It took me like so long and I, it took a long time for it to cool down because it kept, we just had a lot going on anyway, and 
it was so hot up here until I just could not hardly get anything done. But I still wanted to stay faithful and stay true to my soulful Sunday because a lot of people have been emailing me and you guys are loving the plan and a lot of you all are following me and I appreciate you guys for hanging in there with me through all my craziness, my technical difficulties. And, you know, I would not be here without you guys. I love you all. And thank you again for joining me in another Soulful Sunday. I will definitely um, try to get April's. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for April. So I'm going to pray on it tonight. And hopefully God will lead and guide me in the right direction. Because um, it's a little cooler in here now. And I can think straight. <laughs> and see, and that's a part of one of those spiritual habits that we have to get into. Um and you guys remember to keep on pushing just keep praying until something happens and anytime that you are feeling at disarray or stressed or anything make sure you just call on the lord because he has the answers try to journal try to meditate try to pray um, be generous be still and even try to fast for a couple of hours try to even fast for a day then you can build up the strength and stuff to go ahead and do it a couple of more days and remember keep on pushing Okay, cuties, here is the completed Bible journaling entry. I just was all into it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't put my tip in on the side. And see, and this is how a tip in look. I use the Simply Gilded Washi. First, I tried to use this little skinny one, but it wasn't sticking correctly. So then I went back with the next size up. And so we have our Esther 14 and 14, um, Vin Von Alley stickers. Trika 50, um, excuse me, Vin Von Alley stickers, Trika 20, T-R-I-C-K-A 20, over there at Vin Von Alley, we have the Recollections Floral Sticker Book, and the tip-in that I showed you guys, and I had gotten this for Michael's, it was on clearance for $2, so you can't beat that you get a lot of bang for your buck for $2, and I mean, and I meant to go back, I hope they still have some more, because um, I'm going to have to get my friends some, because I know we all our tip in girls and we love it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure if you're not already subscribed to the channel to go ahead and hit the red subscribe button also turn on your notification bell so that you will know whenever i go live or whenever i upload a video you can get that little ding ding and leave me give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below i love hearing from you guys thank you so much for joining me in week four soulful sunday um, I'm going to go ahead and try to get um, April's um, Soulful Sunday list out. If you don't see it in the description bar this week, um, I will try to do it on my, um, I will try to go back and put it at least in my self-care video because we will have some self-care um, videos or lives kicking out um, for the month of April. I'll see you guys in my next one. Toodles.